let's discuss today's problem and today's problem is recover binary search tree so in this problem we have given the root of a binary search tree where exactly two nodes of the tree were swapped by mistake and this is the important point and it helps a lot while solving this problem so two nodes of the tree were swapped by mistake we have to write a code to recover the tree without changing its structure and here is the follow-up so a solution using on space is pretty straightforward so could we devise a constant space solution if you are not familiar with binary search tree then in binary search tree the value of all the nodes in the left subtree is less than the value of the root node and the value in right subtree is greater than or equal to the value of the root node and it is applied recursively to all the left and right subtree of the root for example so if i take this tree let me uh, draw a tree three then seven then uh, two and four six and eight so so it is the binary search tree so the value of root node is five so the value of the uh, left child so its left child is lesser than the value of the root node and the value of the right child is greater than the value of the root node and again 2 is lesser than 3 and 4 is greater than 3 but all the nodes in the left subtree is less than uh, the value of the root node which is 5 and all the nodes in the right subtree is greater than the value of the root node so this is the property of binary search tree now uh, let's discuss this problem statement through multiple examples in the first example if we swap the value of these two nodes we get the binary search tree and uh, in this tree you can uh, see it it satisfy the property of binary search tree and now let's move to the second example in this example to recover a binary search tree we have to swap these two node values and after uh, swapping the values of these two nodes we get this binary search tree so in this example uh, when we consider this tree so the left subtree is fine i mean the value is smaller than the root node but if we see uh, the right subtree this value is greater than three but this value is smaller than three so it does not satisfy the property of binary search tree but when we uh, swap these values 2 and 3 you can see uh, the left subtree has value smaller than the value of root node and the right subtree has the values greater than the value of root node and similarly if we consider this node the left subtree has the value smaller than this this node but greater than the root node so after swapping these two values it satisfies the property of binary search tree so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem let's discuss how do we solve this problem so we start with the easiest approach and then we will improve our solution so in this problem first i'm going to discuss how do we approach this problem then i'll show its java code so given this problem and in this problem to correct the binary search tree we have to find the two node values which is swept by mistake and then uh, we have to swap them at their current uh, correct position so to solve this problem here i am using the property that the in order traversal of a binary search tree gives us the uh, gives a sorted array so in in order traversal first we visit left subtree then we visit root and then we traverse right subtree so if we do the in order traversal of this binary search tree if this tree it will give you uh, give you this result so first it is one then three so first we traverse left subtree then we visit root and then right subtree so one three then two and then four so if it is the binary search tree then the result is in sorted order so now 
once we get the in order traversal we have to find the two node values which are not in sorted order so we get the list list of the uh, this values or you can say an array of values and the next step is to traverse this array and find the two values which are not in sorted order so if i traverse this array so here are the two values which are not in sorted order it is three and two so let's say i am saying three is the first element and two is the second element now we have found the two values which are not in sorted order what's the next step next step is to traverse this tree again when i found the value three so in this place in the place of three let's put two and when i found two it, so in place of two let put three so after swapping these two values we get the binary search tree so this is the first approach let's see its uh, java code and then we will optimize this approach let's see its java code so uh, in this method we have given uh, the root node of a tree and uh, here i have declared a list of integers so a list which holds the integer values and then uh, i am traversing this tree using in order traversal so here is the uh, code for in order traversal first we visit uh, the left subtree then I'm adding the uh, value of the current node and then I'm traversing the right subtree. So first it will start from this and then it will move uh, to this node. And after that, uh, the left and right subtree, uh, left, uh, left and right uh, children of this node is null. So one is added and then it goes back to two. Then two is added similarly, then four then uh, comes here then it will add the next value and so on so from there we get the list of values so it will uh, fill uh, it will traverse this binary tree so in this method we traverse this binary tree and fill the node values in this list and then the next step is to find the two values which are not in sorted order so so i have uh, so I have uh, declared three variables. Uh, one is the first element, second element. So the two variables are first element, second element, and the third one is the previous. And initial value is the value present at zeroth index. Then I'm traversing this uh, uh, list, or you can say array, and check. Uh, and here are the conditions. So the first condition is if the previous value is greater than the current value, then definitely it is not this uh, it is not in sorted order and if the first element is null if we if we have not found the first element yet so then assign the previous value in the first element and if the previous value is greater than the current value and first element is not null then assign the current value in the second element so in this way we we found uh, these two values which are not in sorted order and then i'm traversing this tree again and here are here i'm passing the first and second element so let me show you the code so let me uh, just rub this and uh, here are here is the method where i'm traversing this tree again and when i found the value so let's say the first value is three and the second is two when when i found uh, the node whose value is three i am updating its new value which is two as i have to swap uh, these two values and when i found a value when i found a node whose value is two i am updating its new value which is three so in this way we swap these two values now let me run this code so i have already checked this code but let me run it again and you can see uh, the code runs successfully and let me submit it 
and uh, so it it is taking time and now it is submitted successfully now let's see how we can optimize uh, uh, this approach let's discuss how we can improve our previous approach so in our previous approach first we store the in order traversal using list or an array and then we traverse the tree again to put the node at correct positions so instead of that what we can do is while doing the in order traversal we can find the two node values which are not in correct order and after the traversal of the tree we can swap these two node values and uh, using this approach we can easily solve this problem without using extra list or an array so let's see uh, how do we approach this problem so first we do the in order traversal and we take uh, three uh, variables so for uh, storing the uh, value of first and second nodes so i i have declared two variables first node and second node and to keep track of the previous node i have declared one more variable which uh, stored the previous node then i am doing the in order traversal and here are the two conditions which i have already explained in the last approach and the condition is if the previous node is not null and the previous node value is greater than the current value current node value it so it means it is not in sorted order and also if the first node is null so we have to put the previous node in the first node and if the previous node value is greater than the current node value and the first node is not null so put the current node in the second node so we so that we can swap these two values and while doing the in order traversal keep track of previous node so uh, in previous node put the node which we visited previously so let's see how how we can how we can swap these two node values so first when we start with the in order traversal let's say we visit one and when we visit one so after that there is no left and right uh, children of this node so so till this condition previous node is null so this two conditions are skipped and in previous node we put one so now we move back to this node three and when three comes so previous node is not null so current node value is so a uh, current node value is greater than the previous node value so this condition is skipped and this condition is also skipped so now let me update the value of previous node which is three now let's traverse the uh, right subtree so in right subtree so we first move here then we move here so we take two so now there are uh, there is no left and right children of this node 2 and now let's see this condition so the current node value is less than the previous node value and the first node is null so in first node we put 2 and in uh, so let's move to the second condition where the previous node is not null and the previous node value is greater than the current node value so what we have to do is we have to put so here in first node sorry in first node we put the previous node so the value of previous node is three and in second node we have to put the current node value which is so we have to put the current node which is two and now let's put the previous node which is two and then we move to four now four the current node value is greater than the previous node value then we go back to three so after the traversal of this tree we get these uh, so these two node values which we need to swap so after the in order traversal we check if the first node and second node is not null let's swap them and we swap the values so two moves here and three moves here and in this way we recover a binary search tree so let's run this code and see so i have already checked the code let me run it again 
and let me submit this code so here we have we does not require any extra array or list to store the in order traversal and then check which are the two nodes which are not in uh, sorted order so we have found the two nodes which are not in correct order while doing the in order traversal and then after the traversal of a binary tree we swap those two node values so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video